Yeah, I'm Mrs. Anne Childs and I was born in 1942 and I lived at Landogo from 1957 until 1963. It was my father's ambition that he wanted to own his own house with more land. That's how we ended up at Landogo. We moved to Landogo when I was about 15 and I was working. I was working in Newport. You, I used to catch the 10 to 7 bus in the morning into Chepstow and many people on that bus worked at the shipyard, Fairfield shipyard down at the bottom. Um, and then I would walk from where the bus station uh, was down to the railway station and then complete the journey into Newport by train. So there used to be, I think it was a Bedford van and everybody who needed to go up to um, probably two or three times a week this van was put on and you could get up to the surgery that way. I think that the first, the, the, the one that sticks in my mind, uh, like a lot of teenagers I developed spots and I was on my face and I was quite concerned about this so I went up to the surgery to see Dr Eskill and it was a dispensary, a dispensing surgery and he came up with um, in a green ribbed bottle um, and it was a concoction of um, camarine lotion and sulphur and you put that on your skin when you went to bed at night and because my skin was fairly greasy most of that had absorbed overnight but it did the job and I really didn't have any problems with spots once you know I'd taken that. Uh, when I went to work at Boots I did ask about this concoction and they said oh yes well it's not dished up now because it's um, uh, the sulfur is considered carcinogenic <laughs> but I suppose it was just a very small amount in there <laughs> it's like a lot of things but it worked. So you mentioned a, a second, a second time. Oh yes. Well, the second one was um, I was having a lot of um, a lot of period pains, and um, I really was suffering quite badly. And uh, so I went up to see Doctor Eskill about this. Bearing in mind the surgery, everybody sort of sat in this small waiting room, and the uh, we'll say the acoustics weren't very good. <laughs> Uh, but then there again everybody was in the same boat anyway after i don't even think he examined me but uh, um anyway he he said to me oh well um do you have a boyfriend so i said yes so he said oh well just get yourself pregnant and it'll all go away so i said to him uh, thank you very much and that really will put the cat among the pigeons at home won't it i was very sarcastic as i walked out and that's true that's true. And I thought, well, you, you see, there are two sides to this. So do you go home and relate this and have the heavens fall on you that way? Or do you just keep quiet? And then, then your parents, you, you know, your mother says to you, well, what did he say? <laughs> so I decided to keep quiet. <laughs> well, he was known as being very John Blunt. <laughs> 